Hello everyone and happy spooky season. Oh my gosh, October, you took a while to get here. I know a lot of people are gonna say like, oh my God, October, it came so fast. What happened to 2021? It just went away, it was in a blink of an eye, whatever, all of that. No, like this summer I suffered. I hate the heat. I was like, when is it gonna be the fall? I can't do this. Literally in my last studio vlog, it was only like September and I was sweating in it. I was struggling. I was like, I can't do this. And honestly, if you look at my past videos, I've done mostly voiceover content because um, it was too hot and I would just sweat and like of course like filming makes you nervous makes me nervous so I'm like uh so I feel like a lot has happened since my last studio vlog. The biggest thing is that I launched my fall collection. So in the fall collection, I have two memo pads over here. So we have the Spooky Bestie and PSL Princess, and I will get into why I named it, what inspired it, and my whole design and thought process later on. Let's go print these memo pads and get started on the memo pad making and get some inventory in. And then yeah, we'll talk about the whole design process and what inspired Spooky Bestie and PSL Princess. Let's go. Okay, so what inspired these memo pads and why did I give them such ridiculous names? I, I still can't explain that one, but I'll try my best. Okay, so let's start with Spooky Bestie. So Spooky Bestie is inspired by, honestly, the people I know in real life. Okay, also most of the fall collection um, is inspired by people that I know in real life. Like it wasn't really like about me, or inspired by my brain. Like my first collection was really just me being creative and doing a memo pad design that I wanted to see and I wanted to have. So it was really like my art style, but so these two memo pads were really inspired by people actually using it and bringing it into their day-to-day -day lives and just kind of capturing like the essence of these two personas that I created. Okay, so now we're really getting into it. So Spooky Bestie is really about someone who just is obsessed with fall and especially Halloween. Like literally after October 31st, on November 1st, they're like, okay, so count down to next year Halloween. Like they are obsessed with dressing up for Halloween and doing the costumes and all of that, decorating their house, watching a scary movie every night. Like they, they're, they love Halloween. It's their thing. And so yeah, I created these little ghost characters. I wanted them to be very, very cute and I wanted them to have different little emotions, kind of like emojis. And yeah, I want it to be fun. Like it was definitely like a fun memo pad. So it's kind of like these little ghosts are like your best friends and they're going to keep you company as you run your errands, as you take notes or whatever. They're there with you for this Halloween season. Now moving on to PSL Princess. Okay, so this is for the gal or the guy who is obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes, of course, PSLs. And as soon as Starbucks announces that they have PSLs ready, I think it was like in August this year, they are there they are in the drive-thru. They were there before you even knew about PSLs being out because they have the insider knowledge of all things pumpkin spice. You know, you get the whole vibe. It's very cozy. It's very, I love fall. It's very like, can't wait to bring out my boots. But yeah, it's very that. So that is what inspired this. So I wanted to create like different, I guess, objects that really bring the essence of fall and like what makes it very cozy and fall-like. I'm not gonna lie for this one. I was a little bit disappointed in myself. It's not really my art style. I don't think it looks bad. It just doesn't represent me. But I like kind of like was looking at it. I'm like, how can I make this more me? And I, I couldn't figure it out. So yeah, PSL princess, I'm sorry. You ended up growing up to be a great memo pad, but I wish I could have been there a little bit more, you know? I felt like Spooky Bessie is like more of my style because it's cute and but a little bit edgy because of like the color scheme. But anyways, um, I posted it on Instagram and it seems like I got good responses and good feedback. So maybe it's all in my head and I should just keep going. That is the fall collection. I'm honestly just really happy that and proud that I launched twice in one month. I did my initial yours collection launch, which was my official shop launch. And I did a fall launch at the end of September. So that is crazy. It took the life out of me. I'm not going to lie. And I want to blame my nine to five because it's like, ugh. 
Okay, enough of me ranting. Let's get started with cutting these memo pads. I have a new cutting machine. I don't know if you can see it right here. And it has been amazing. So much better than my Silhouette Cameo 4, which I've been low-key hating on lately. But yes, I'm really happy with this cutting machine. It is perfect. It's really, really satisfying. I can't wait to show you, so let's get started. Okay, welcome to my cutting machine. So, this is how it works. So here we are at nighttime and I have to be really quiet because everyone is sleeping but I still wanted to vlog because I need to ship these memo pads out pretty soon. I've been getting orders. So anyways, let's get to gluing these memo pads. I have them all cut here and so we are going to count 55 because I include 50 notepads per what? I include 50 sheets per notepad and basically I need like an extra five pages to test the, the glue quality and see if it's good. Okay, let's count to 50 and then I will vent. Okay, we have 55 here, so I'll put that back, boom. Basically, I try my best to line these pages, but sometimes they still need a little bit help in rearranging, if not like just taking out these pages and substituting them for a different page. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been severely burnt out. What's really been bothering me um, has been social media and mostly content creation around social media. So I have been creating TikToks and Reels to promote my memo pads. And I mean, it's not even that much. Like if you stalk my profile, you'd be like, okay, and, but like it took so much effort to do. It's just like annoying because it's just like a 15 second video. Like why can't I get this right? But it's so hard because you have to tell a story so quickly and it's like, uh, and you have to like get everyone's interest and then like you do all of that and then you get your view count and it's like oh <laughs> okay and then what's really annoying is that like can't really control like where it gets distributed to like either some people see it or they don't and like my reels for example my first reels got 
6,000 views, I think. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then I was like, okay, let me post another one. But I'm like, I highly doubt I'll do as good. Like I know, I know Reels is playing me, like the algorithm's playing me. And then when I posted, it got like, no, no, no. The first one got 3,000 views and the second one got 6,000 views, I think. And I was like, oh my God. <gasps> and um, it was just really exciting. And I was like, oh, okay, I got this. And then when I posted the next Reels, I got like a couple hundred which is still like really good but like way to manage my expectations instagram like and then i'm like okay whatever just shake it off just shake it off it's fine but with all this social media talk i just want to say i feel like youtube is the realest social media ever <laughs> at least as like a creator like i just love youtube so much like i just feel like it is real it is genuine no one is forcing anyone to click to watch my videos like you choose click and watch this video which if you did thank you <laughs> but yeah and i think that's awesome whereas like tiktok and reels like it feeds it to you you can't make the decision to click on it right it just shows up on your feed Ugh, my thing's gonna die Okay, I'm gonna drop off these packages. I just got some orders. Ooh. I was looking through my footage from last night and I like could not articulate anything that was going on in my head. But what I was trying to say in summary is that I am so grateful for YouTube. I think YouTube is the best platform for me as a content creator. And honestly, as like a user too, I just feel like I just feel like I have more of like a genuine connection and understanding of the people that I subscribe to. So I just hope that you also feel the same way about my videos. Okay. Um, I'm like heating up in this car because I turned off the engine so there wouldn't be background noise. So what is up next? I am planning to do more packaging videos of the fall um, collection. I'm going to a jib and cup sleeve event. So I had fun kind of vlogging that in my last studio vlog. So, and I am looking into getting a manufacturer for my memo pads because making this by hand is taking a very long time and my back is aching. I am planning to use a manufacturer. So I'm gonna look into that. And yeah, after that will be the bts collection well like bts army fan inspired art you know you'll see i want like subtle merch type of type of vibes so yes that is what is to come on this channel i'm really excited and i hope to post more on youtube and kind of improve my process with the memo pads and balance feeling burnt out and balance my nine to five so i can be on here more because the vibes are good here okay anyways um i'm sweating now it's bad this car is really hot so I'm gonna go. Okay, bye.